I mentioned that we'll be going to the Gambia. The Gambia has been in the news for the last few days and uh, it is certainly not for the right reasons. And um, we have been joined on Skype by a Gambian journalist who, um, she's actually a journalist trainee with, um, uh, and would be giving us an update on what's uh, happening there right now. Her name is Hadija Jawara, and uh, she will be letting us know what's happening in the Gambia right now as we speak, because we know that um, a 90-day emergency has been raised by the president, Yahya Jame, who is refusing to step down. And we know that the parliament of the country has also extended his reign by some three months as they try to resolve the impasse. Let's go to Skype now and talk to um, Hadija Jawara. Hadija, good afternoon to you, and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Afternoon, you are welcome. Good, uh, I, I'm very well here, and uh, we hope that the situation in the Gambia has not deteriorated. Looking at the fact that there is a 90 day, um, not curfew, but a 90 day emergency that has been declared by the president. What's the situation as we speak? Right now, uh, everywhere is very quiet because people are staying indoors and um, the streets are empty. You hardly see people or cars moving around. So right now, the country is very quiet because everybody is trying to be very careful. We know, looking at what has been declared, that uh, the extension of Mr. Jame's uh, presidency and parliament also extending their stay, how does that affect the swearing in of the new president? Or the president the elected, coalition party okay the coalition party has maintained that it doesn't change anything and they and that they are going ahead with the swearing in they called for a press conference today in the afternoon so we don't know what they are going to say but they have maintained that it changes nothing they are going ahead with the swearing in so. but how does how are gambians taking the news that your president-elect is going to be sworn in in another country and would be running the affairs of the country from the Senegal. How, does the, how are Gambians taking this news? Constitution, it doesn't matter where he is in it. It just has to be a Gambian territory and has to be swearing by a legal officer of the Gambia. So people are not uh, actually worried about that because they know that it is based on law. And we have been told that he, after, after he swear in the he's going to be escorted in the Gambia by the uh, ECOWAS forces. So uh, people are very hopeful. So we believe that uh, maybe today or tomorrow we'll be seeing him in the country. How he's going to enter the country, that's a problem. Well, th that should be uh, a concern to many. Do you, not think, do you not agree? Looking at the fact that the military seem to still be working with the president, Yahya Jame. And so if there is, uh, the military are siding with him, who is going to bring in the new president and how is that going to be done? I know constitutionally it should be a, a smooth process, but how do you foresee that to be done? I think that's uh, what's worrying everybody because uh, uh, we can use and people are worried for their lives and stuff like that. So if people have abandoned their houses, some have moved to Bissau or Conakry. So we are very worried about because if you know, the, yeah, Gambia is a very peaceful country and here people are not very violent. So at least people are scared and they are worried about it. All right. And I uh, want to wrap up by asking how are the day-to-day -day activities of, the Gam of Gambians uh, looking like? We are told that some people have started fleeing the country. Do you see business activity ongoing in the country or everything seems to have come to a standstill? Uh, business activities are very slow. It's more or less a stand. The shops uh, on the main highway, the Scarborough Avenue are closed, Banjuna, all around Serekunda. So things are, most of the shops are closed. People are uh, moving. So people are, uh, it's, it's, it's very sad, actually. All right. Uh, we we'll would uh, come back to you later on, uh, Hadija, to you help us understand what is happening because we know the transition is likely to be uh, at the end of today or by tomorrow. So we'll be coming over to you again to give us information. Thank you very much for speaking with us.
Uh, so we've been speaking with uh, a Gambian journalist trainee, or journalism trainee, uh, with the Gambian Trust. She is a, uh, a resident and has been updating us on developments in the country. She uh, actually works with the Gambian Press Union, Gambian Press Union.